Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is where you are in the world. Um, I'm Sierra, and today we're going to be going over my glute workout. So a couple of my friends um, who I get together to do yoga with, we started talking about, you know, you know, y'all, if y'all ain't got no friends like this, you need to get you some friends like this. They were like, oh, Sierra, okay, I see you. What you be doing? And I was like, you know, a little something, nothing, nothing major. <sighs> but um, yeah, so anyway, the consensus, the, the, the end of the conversation was basically that I would record myself doing my, my steps for my glute workout and um, pass it along. And I thought, I may as well just post it to my channel. Why not? So, without further ado, here we go. That was weird. So this is something that I started doing a couple couple of years ago. Um, and my goal is to tone primarily and maybe lift a little bit, you know. I, 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 I got a teardrop, so it'd be nice if I could lift it a little. Um, and just overall, you know, shapeliness, that's, that's my overall goal. I'm trying to get some more curves. If you are like me, we don't, there's no hourglass here. <laughs> my, my waist don't do that. But, um, you know, just, I don't really like core. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't like doing core workouts, but from here down, I, I can work on that all day long. Um, that and upper upper body arm stretch, mm -mm. So we're not really gonna focus on a whole lot of that. It's gonna be a little bit of that, but not a whole lot. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna stop talking. But my point for, starting talking was that um this it could probably take you about 15 or 30 minutes depending on how many breaks you take you know how diligent you are um and i just used to do it every morning now do i do it every morning still no but maybe this is a good time for me to set a new goal you know okay so i start off in tabletop and if you are not familiar with tabletop it's literally just hands and knees. A uh, couple of things to remember when you're in tabletop position. It's simple to do, it's easy to do, but you don't want to be passive. So for example, I'm pushing the, the floor away from me. So I'm not just like sitting here like this. I'm pushing up from the floor and my finger, uh, my fingers are spread wide. I'm pressing down through all of my fingers from the tips all the way down to um, the palm of my hand through my wrist. This is a good way to protect your wrist and just to make sure that you don't tire out. Um, and then alignment. So shoulders should be in line with uh, elbows and wrist. For some people, they you know find more comfort coming up just a little bit, but I personally recommend that you, you keep everything in line. And then same thing with the hips down to the knees. So you want to, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, for this particular, for this particular purpose, but this is good practice, you know, pre preventative measures. So pushing up and away, uh, shoulders to wrist in a line, knees to um, hips in a line, and tops of your feet pressing down. So you press down, that way your upper body doesn't get too tired. Like right now, this is a very active position. My arms are already getting pretty tired. So I just first do, to be honest guys, I have no idea what these things are called. Maybe we can have some fun making up new names for them. So let's call this one um, kick em ups. Yeah, kick em ups. So I literally just um, remember to engage with the core. Think of it think of it like zipping the core. Sometimes when people engage with the core, they like squeeze and it kind of becomes like a little bit of a bulge. You don't want the bulge. You want like a tight zip. Hope that makes sense. Um, I am, did, did I mention that I am not a fitness instructor? I mean, I, I teach yoga, but that's that's about as far as it goes. <laughs> so I'm sharing this with you. Um, I made it up, you know, I just took some exercises that I like and I put them together. And um, if you decide to participate, you are doing so at your own risk, but guess what? That's your business. So, um, kick them up. Take, uh, we'll start with the left foot. I'm just gonna show you guys um, a couple of reps and then you can put the, put the workout together on your own. Ah, maybe I'll do it for you. So you want to flex the foot and you want to get the thigh 
to knee in a nice straight line with the hip still pushing up and away from here and I lift and I'm squeezing my glutes as I do that. My foot is flexed, super, super flexed and lifting, okay? And already this is a very active exercise. You don't really have to do much to get, you know, the blood pumping, get the heat going in your body, feel the burn. I feel the burn already. So that's how that goes. You, of course, you do the same thing on the other side. Um, I, I usually do about 15 of those, but I'll work my way up to 15. First, I started with 10, 10 on each side. And then without taking a break, I go right into, um, I think these are actually called fire hydrants. So starting with the left foot again, you can start with whatever foot you desire, but since you guys can see my left foot, we're gonna start with that one. Um, try and keep the knee bent at a 90 degree angle. Try to keep it exactly where it is now, and then slowly start to lift it up off the floor, and I push, and I bring it back in. And I push, and I bring it back in. So um, I would do 10 to 15 of those, you know, or if you're gonna do the workout for the first time, why not just see how you feel, listen to your body. Um, but it's a, it's a lot of activation happening up in this area, okay? Um, and then of course, same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. More of the fire hydrants. Try my best to maintain stillness in this area. Okay, from here, I extend my leg long, get a nice little calf stretch, lift that leg up, take the foot over, hovering, so it's almost like an extended um, fire hydrant. Tap it down, lift it up, take it back around, all the way to the other side, tap it down. So that's one. And notice that when I'm coming over to this left side, I pause here, tap down, come back up, then go back around to the other side. So that is, very intense. I am, I'm tired talking to you guys. Uh, oh, what are we gonna call that one? We're gonna call it the uh, the um, the foot to floor, foot to floor. Boom. That's it. Extended, extended foot to floor. Look at that. You see how that sounds fancier now? Yeah. Same thing on the other side. Extend the leg long, calf stretch. Lift it up. Again, my foot is very flexed. Rotating at the hip, taking it around, trying to maintain hip length. Let it down, lift it up. Bring it back around. All the way to the other side, okay? And then from there, we move to a different position. I think they're, they're technically called squat jumps, but in the spirit of coming up with new names for things, we're gonna call these, mm, mm, turnarounds, squat turnarounds, yes. I don't know who I stole this from, y'all. I stole it from somebody. I was watching somebody's exercise video and I was like, ooh, those look fun. Let me tell you, they're not fun, they're not. Um, I actually despise them, but I like how they feel, I like how they make my body feel. So, you know, they win. Um, you may want to wear shoes for this. I am not a huge fan of shoes. And again, I'm not instructing you all to do this without shoes because it's recommended that you use shoes, particularly because we're jumping. Um, I just like to be barefoot and I have a little more control. My foot muscles are pretty strong, so. Wear shoes for your safety um, and practice at your own risk. I mean, you know, it's Miss Tabitha says that's your business, so I'm not putting my shoes on. So, normal squat, just like you normally would, you know, get your feet about hip width apart. You guys know how to do squats. Um, I personally like this arm motion, it makes, it makes me feel like I'm doing something. You know what I mean? All right, so <clears throat> you squat down, 
get to where you're comfortable. You know, that might be here for you, that might be here. Um, and then as you're coming up, you're gonna jump and go to the other side. Oh, I forgot my arms. Maybe we should call this the ski. I'm out of breath and I think I only did about four reps. So this side, that side is one. Good times, y'all, good times, good times. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Uh, I just recorded myself doing the whole, the whole workout so that y'all can see how everything looks together. And um, only to find out that I had the camera angle wrong. <sighs> these are, these are thud tears. Uh, I'm okay, I'm okay. But um, when I say you really don't need that many reps, I mean you really don't need that many reps. So basically I'm gonna be sore tomorrow because I'm about to do it again. Uh-huh, yep, it's okay, God's plan. I don't know if y'all can see my facial expressions, but they be, I am tired. All right, so I'm gonna go over a couple of cool down exercises slash stretches that can help heal this area from the, uh, the torture that you have just put it through. Back into this tabletop position, we spent a lot of time on our wrist, so you can stretch that out, alternating, flipping the palm. If that's not intense enough for you, you can always do both palms, and you can even pull back just a little bit for a deeper stretch. You can have your fingertips facing each other. You can do what I like to call rotator cuffs, because you know, cuffs rotate. Yeah. Look at the flick of the wrist. Okay, I'm done. Um, you can stretch this way, this way, you know, be gentle. Don't pull on this area. You're just using your hand to reinforce, right? So you're not actually pulling, you wanna be gentle. Just give me a nice counter stretch in the other direction. And um, hips, can't forget about those. So, just taking your hips side to side. I'm so winded right now. <sighs> Take your hips side to side. You might even want to do circles. You can also like sort of like wag your tail, you know, like a dog would. And you can hold it, look, look towards it, get a nice stretch. Other direction, feels nice. You can come back into child's pose, which for me is more comfortable when my knees are wide. This is a nice stretch. Stretch your hands out wide. You get to stretch the back muscles that you were working. Um, you might even wanna walk your hands over to one side, get a nice stretch here, 
Same thing on the other side. And mi favorita. Now, with this stretch, a lot of people will say, oh, you know, I've done this in yoga, but I just didn't really feel anything, and I didn't understand what to do. You gotta have a nice balance of push-pull, okay? So this is, this is figure four. So you take your knee, you bend your knee, <laughs> lift the right foot off the ground. Right ankle goes to the top of that um, uh, right knee, you know, end of the thigh. I guess this would be the top of the thigh and this would be the bottom of the thigh. You guys know what I mean. Um, and then trying to keep this knee as far away from you as possible. So pushing this knee away from you, lift the left off the ground, pulling this knee towards you so you got that push-pull sensation, right? This might feel great to you. This might feel wonderful. You might feel like, oh, that's it. That's the sweet spot. For me, I need to interlace my fingers behind my knee take my elbow and press my right knee away from me as I'm still pulling my left knee in towards me. And if you can see the expression on my face, this feels good. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could just, you could feel it like all up in this area right here. It's the best stretch. Especially for, for women, we tend to hold a lot of stress in our hips. Oh my goodness, this stretch is amazing. All right, I didn't mean to stay there that long. I didn't mean to stay there that long. Other side, same concept. This might be good for you. You might wanna pull it in. Alternatively, you can also just hug this towards you and extend the other leg. The choice is yours. Stefan. Captain Planet. I don't know. Alright, so ladies and gents, that concludes our I don't know why I said our as if I was more than one person. I often speak of myself as if I am a group, a collective. Neither you know there. Thank you for watching. Um, I would love to tell you that you can look forward to more videos like this but really this is not my specialty this is just something that um you know i put together for my friends um i do however teach yoga and i will be opening up uh, public classes pretty soon virtual classes um, for those of you that want to join they will be beginners level um, most of the interests that i have right now are beginners but Excuse me, how dare my body decide that now is a good time to burp? <sighs> Disrespectful. So, if there are some more people who want a more intense um, practice or a slightly more advanced, uh, wow, and hiccups, wow, okay. So this is what happens when I work out. I appreciate you for, um, you know, tuning into the video, getting this far into the video. I hope you were able to take something with you. I hope something clicked, I hope your glutes burn in all the right places after you try this little quick glute workout um and let me know how you like it i, I would love to hear about it in the comments you know if you want to record yourself doing it and tag me please feel free you can find me on instagram at see more say less you can find me on facebook and twitter at see me travel and i'll make sure all of that is down below in the description box and um what else do I need to do? I feel like this is the opportunity for me to plug myself. Um, huh, okay. So, if you are expecting or someone that you know is expecting, you can check out Moon Honey Doula. That's my name on all platforms, moonhoneydoula.com, Moon Honey Doula on Instagram, Moon Honey Doula on Facebook, all one word. And it's not one word, but you know, it's all together on Instagram. You know, you know faces. Uh, I am a birth and bereavement doula. I am also a hypnobirthing chopper educator. So um, check me out, check me out, check me out. Um, what else, what else? Oh, my personal blog, sierrahydras.com for a bunch of things. It's just, it's, 
It's all of me. Uh, most of me. So yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that good stuff. Okay. I'm tired. Um, this is what happens when I work out. I just, my brain is like, whew. Oh. All right. So. That's all. No, that was really, really funky. Okay, bye. Why, y'all, why am I always so awkward? Like, literally, if you guys knew how many takes it took me to get like a, a hey or a goodbye, you would be like, what, what is wrong with you? Like, of all the parts of the video that you have to re-record, the hi and the bye, really's here. <sighs> Gotta love me. So, yeah. I'll see y'all later. See, that was weird. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Bye.